The accessible remote control toy car enables children with a wide range of challenges to independently control an exciting toy while they develop the skills essential for using a power chair. The accessible remote control toy car includes a car with rechargeable batteries, an accessible controller also with rechargeable batteries, a joystick and cable, four accessibility switches, and chargers for the car and controller's batteries. Before using this device, make sure the car and controller are fully charged. Consult the user manual for charging instructions. Also, remember that each car is paired with its own controller, so be sure that the number on the side of the car matches the number on the bottom of the controller. To turn on the controller, slide the on-off switch located on the back of the controller to the on position. The blue light on the back of the controller will start blinking. To turn on the car, slide the on-off switch located under the car near the right rear wheel to the on position. You'll hear three short beeps followed by a long beep. When the blue light on the controller changes from blinking to steady, the car is ready to drive. Now it's time to select a mode. The controller has four modes of operation. Press the Mode button to cycle through the four and select the one you want. Mode 1 uses the thumbstick on the controller to drive the car in any direction. Mode 2 uses four accessibility switches to drive the car. To turn the car, you'll need to press two switches at the same time. Mode 3 also uses four accessibility switches but you only need to press one switch at a time to drive or turn. Mode 4 controls the car with only two accessibility switches. Drive forward by pressing the green switch or press the red switch to reverse while turning to the right. The joystick can be used to drive the car in modes 2, 3, or 4. Connect the joystick to the controller using the supplied cable and select the mode you want to use. The colored arrows on the joystick match the function of each accessibility switch. You can change the speed of the car at any time by sliding the speed switch on the controller between 1, 2, and 3. Finally, you'll notice that if the car is left on and inactive for 10 minutes, a long beep will be heard until a button on the controller is pressed or the car is turned off. For more information on the accessible remote control toy car, please consult the user manual that came with this device. You'll also find the manual on Can Assist's website.